it's another time with back mass and to this lesson we'll be looking at how to calculate cgp and so if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe for more updates let's get started but before we move to cgpa calculation let's first understand the meaning of cgpa so cgpa is an acronym for cumulative grade points average and cgpa can be computed for at least two semesters and so before we can say this our result is a cgp then it should be based on two or more semesters cgp is calculated for the total semesters a student has taken a course at the university so the base of cgp has to do with the number of semesters you spent at the university and that accumulate to cgp calculation cgp is calculated by taking the total grade points a student has earned in all courses and dividing it by the total number of credits I was taking. So to put this statement in short, we can say that CGPA is equal to total grade points of all courses taken divided by total credit hours of all courses taken. So this is the formula that we'll be using to find our CGP. Now let's move to the practical work of how to calculate CGP. Now let's assume this is the result for a particular student in level 100 first semester. And in level 100 first semester, he was able to do six courses. And these six courses ended up having 16 credit hours. And then at the end of the semester, he was able to accumulate a grade point of 59.5. Let's keep this data and move on. Now, this happens to be the result for the same student in level 100 second semester. And in level 100 second semester, he took another six courses. By this time, his credit hours was 15. And at the end of the semester, he ended up getting a grade point of 47. So this is the data for a particular student in level 100. Because we said CGP is based on two or more semesters, we have the results for this student in level 100, first semester and second semester. So we are going to look at how to calculate the CGP for this particular student. Now let's try and summarize the data for this student. Now, remember that in level 100 first semester, the person had a grade point of 59.5 and then also the credit hours was 16. And the second semester, the person had a grade point of 47 and then its credit hours was 15. So to find the CGP for this person in level 100, we are just going to sum the grade point for level 100 first semester and then that of level 100 second semester as it says in the formula. So the grade point for the person level 100 is now what we see here. So that is total grade point for level 100 is just 59.5 plus 47, and we are getting 106.5. And then to find the total credit hours for the person level 100, we are going to sum the credit hours for first semester and that of second semester. And that was 16 and 15. So at the end, we are getting Total credit hours for level 100 is equal to 16 plus 15, and that gives us 31. So we are now going to do substitution into the CGPA formula. And the formula says total grade points of all courses taken divided by total credit hours of all courses taken. And remember that the total grade points for the course you took in level 100 first semester and second semester was 106. And then the total credit hours was 31 for level 100 so this is it so when we divide 106.5 by 31 then our answer is 3.4355 so the cgp for this person in level 100 is now 3.4355 so basically we can calculate the cgp regardless of the level that we are right now so what we are going to do here is that we are going to take all the grid points and sum them and also take all the credit hours and sum and at the end we are going to find their ratio and that becomes our cgp so this ends to this video thanks for watching kindly like comment subscribe and share see you in our next video bakumat thinking beyond infinity